everything. So students, it's very important you prepare for your client and you book appointment with your client or your client book appointment with you before coming in for facial therapy. Why is it important? You have to prepare, put all your tools in place to know the ones that are working, the ones that are not working, to get yourself prepared. And things you'll be needing for, for your facial therapy, you'll be needing a white towel to cover your couch, white. It proves your level of hygiene, how neat you are to your clients. Then secondly, you get a medium sized towel. We use this in covering outside of where the client will be putting her head. Then you have another thick medium sized towel. This is used in creating pillow, which will be kept underneath the couch. And this covers. Your pillow has been created. It's very important for you to create a pillow for your client, for your convenience and for your client to be comfortable when doing your facial therapy procedures. Then after you get a facial morph or a facial toe and keep inside your pillow cover created. In which after you get a big size towel, this is used in covering your client from her chest to her leg. As I said, your ID level interprets a lot. You fold neatly and place it here. Then you check your facial steamer. You check your water level, make sure your water is not dirty because sometimes your water can retain dirt. So make sure you check your water level and your water is not dirty because if there is dirty sediment in the water, there can be accident, which we call home accident or the beauty room accident. Because there's hot water, dirty water settled down, hot water can spill out instead of vapor coming out. Very important. After your magnifying lamp, it's very important when you are doing a facial therapy. Check for your facial therapy, then you get all your products ready. It's very important that you are ready before your client comes in. It's not advisable or good for you to be roaming about while you leave a client there. Be it you have an assistant or you don't have an assistant. You get all water, warm water, my kettle, is ready here. Warm water is ready. My product is ready. Till I'm done before I leave my client and facial therapy room. So, student, I'm going to prepare my client. I'm starting. So, student, when preparing for your facial therapy and your client has arrived, you tell you take your client into the changing room. You tell your client to remove her clothes, her top, every metal on her body, inclusive of her earrings, her chain. She might be on nose ring. You have to tell your client to remove it. Then you give her a face cap for her to wear and give her a towel to wrap her body. So student during preparation, after you are ready for your client, you take your client into the changing room, you ask her to remove her clothes, then you move her necklaces and jewelries, be it a nose ring, her earrings, you ask her to remove it and keep it in a safe place. It is advisable that when you are done with your client, your client should be looking for jewelries or necklaces, so you keep it in a safe place. In which after, if your client is on hairdo, you give her a face cap to wear or a shower cap to wear, then give her a towel like I've showed you to wrap her body. So now I'm going to call my client to come and lie on my couch to start the therapy. This is a good bit. My client is already wrapped on towel, but I used the one created extra to cover her. 
the client's body is very important. In situations whereby you have allergies that doesn't like opening their body, or people that don't like opening their body, they prefer you cover everything downwards. And you ask your client if she's comfortable. So, ma, are you comfortable? Yes. And you consider yourself too if you are comfortable. Now, I'm not comfortable because I'm going to be doing this. So, I ask my client to come up a little bit. Are you comfortable? Yes. Now, I'm okay. So now, um, remember we've done the consultation. Her name is Miss Elizabeth. So now we are ready for the therapy. But before then, I've done a skin analysis and client information analysis. So her name is Elizabeth. She's 27 years old. She has passed puberty stage, which our skin is supposed to be regenerative. Her occupation, she's a spa administrator. As exposure to sun is very low because she stays in the office. It's people like marketers, traders, they can probably see their sun exposure is high. This therapy can take up to 45 minutes. So now we're starting my therapy.